Welcome to this Fixit channel and this is a quick video to explain how to set up the OBS Studio software in Ubuntu Linux Distro 1804 to do screen captures of whatever you're doing. So of course you'll click on the icon to start OBS Studio and one of the things you'll want to do is add in the bottom here a source. So click the plus button on the bottom. In here you will of course choose a screen capture. You'll give it a name so say here I'm gonna call it screen capture test and click OK. Once that is done you'll see a window open up and it will tell you the defaults properties of screen capture test. But click OK and once you are there, go on the up the uh, right side of your screen, sorry, and click settings. Make sure that you set it up properly the way you want it. So for the uh, audio, you'll want to choose the proper audio uh, of your computer. So for example, in my case, I would choose my USB uh, audio device. Then you have video. This is the other place where you're going to choose what you're going to do. So by default it's the same as your own resolution. So uh, what's happening basically is that OBS Studio always already sets it so that it will use whatever resolution your screen is at. So mine is at 16 by 900 that's why it's choosing that. Now here mine is in red because I'm already recording so I can't really play with any of these settings right now. But once you click apply and once you click OK, you'll have set up everything you need. That means that um, once you are on your screen capture, you should see that your pointer moves in that little display that looks really like looking at in, in multiple mirrors. Uh, you should have the audio at the bottom. You see it here, mix or mic audio, mic auxiliary. Well, that's where you should see a line move when you actually talk. You should see it actually work. So that's the thing that you'll need to check out. Once that is done, it means you'll be able to um, screen record. One of the little tips also that I might want to give you here is if you want to do it without having to always start the main program window, I would recommend that you choose hotkeys. For example, I chose Control R for recording, Control S to stop the recording. That means I don't have to have the main window open like this one. I can actually just, you know, do my shortcuts and you see a little red dot appear in the software telling me, yeah, it works. And when I stop, I just do Control R S and it stops. Of course, you'll choose shortcuts that don't interfere with whatever software or whatever you're doing because sometimes these odd keys might be used by a software. So it's easy as that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.